What is up guys? We are finally off-road on the KLX. So we're in this gravel lot here. I'm gonna do a little bit of warming up. You guys can see how it handles the gravel. Not really wandering around too much. trail so far pretty good I've had this off-road a couple of times some mud and some gravel the stock tires are doing pretty well they're Dunlop D605 So this is my first time to this off-road spot. Don't really know my way around it. This video I'm going to talk as much as I can, but I also just want to show you guys how good the KLX is off-road. Try to stay off some of these ruts and the washouts. Oh, we got a trials course here. That would be interesting. Not that experienced yet. Kalex does wander around a little bit on some of these bigger rocks.
like I said before in a previous video, if you want to improve your on-road riding skills and you have a bike that you can go off-road on, I would definitely recommend it as it gives you a feeling of instability on the motorcycle. I myself am still learning. Off-road, trying to just learn all the techniques and whatnot. Looks like we got a, another trail over here. Let's go ahead and see what that one's all about. Most of the stuff I've been doing in first and second gear gives you the best torque. Not really bottoming out and doing pretty well soaking them up I know some people say one of the first things you should upgrade is the suspension but so far it's been doing pretty good it's working out pretty well so let's go ahead and go back Trying to ride at a good speed so you guys can see how the bike handles the rough stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and follow my brother here. It's one of his first times off-road on his KLX. Super excited for this trip here. Traction-wise, the tires seem to be hooking up pretty well in the mud. Of course, it's going to spin a bit in the gravel. Got a couple, two strokes over there. Kawasaki and the Yamaha. Gonna go ahead and go down this trail a little bit. Got mixed up in the ruts there. So good traction here on the dirt. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this just comes right around here. like we got some guys on the quad over here trying to get over these logs so the biggest thing I'm trying to work on right now is using more rear brake when I'm off-road it's not a very good idea to use a lot of front brake off-road a couple of times I use too much then the front end will wash out on you so got to be careful of that but just take some practice. Alright guys, we're going to go on one more trail loop and then we're probably going to call it for the day. I'm hoping that I can come out here a couple more times before the summer ends, but it's also open during the winter. We can get back here, so. Well yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the video. I'm going to do one more loop, like I said. And we'll start heading home. Stay in the ruts here. Got a little bit of tail slide in action there.
guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know some of you guys have been asking for some off-road content. So I hope I delivered on that. As you can see, the KLX is more than capable as an off-road bike. It was also fun to get totally off the road, not just finding some places around the city. So stay tuned for more KLX videos. Give this video a big thumbs up. I know I had fun, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content coming to you very shortly with the KLX. Now I'm really inspired to find some more off-road stuff around the city. But share this video, and with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Here we are after the outro for those of you sticking around. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said. I know I had a blast. No limits here out off-road. If you're still watching to this point, go ahead and comment off-road for the win. you guys a little bit of extra content before we load up my brother and I Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.